Hey YouTube, welcome to the weirdest channel on this platform, and today's video is going to be over FTM and MTF passing tips if you're not out. Because I know there's a lot of trans people who can't come out to their family for whatever reason, which sucks. But hey, I'm here for you, I support you, and yeah, let's get into the video. So tip number one is posture and like how you hold yourself basically. This can make a world of difference in how people perceive you. So women tend to stand with their weight on like one of their hips and have the other just popped out. Whereas men are more likely to stand like straight and tall or with their hands in their pockets or something like that. I know that can be hard. Cause as a trans guy, we all know the pocket struggle. Women's pants have seriously tiny pockets. And that's a whole nother issue, but this video is just about passing tips. So let's move on. For when you're sitting, women tend to have their legs like crossed, excuse the sharpie on my leg, or with their knees together and their feet slightly more apart. And for men, um, the stereotypical man spreading is popular, or you can also just sit with your legs like per parallel to each other. Just make sure that you're not doing this or this. Really, you can do whatever you want, but if you're looking to pass, that may make you look a bit more feminine. The second thing is your hair. Now, stereotypically, women tend to have longer hair and men tend to have shorter hair. So some good hairstyles that I've found for trans women are, would be something like this, cause like, honestly, doesn't he look androgynous? Come on. And you can ask your parents for this haircut without them being like, what, that's a girl's haircut. So yeah. Or something like this, which is actually my friend's haircut. Um, she's trans and not out yet uh, at the time I'm filming this video, so that's a good one too. Or you MTF ladies could just go emo. I mean, look at him. Doesn't he look androgynous? Like, if you saw this person in the street, I happen to know his pronouns are he him, but uh, come on, look at this. And doesn't he look androgynous? I mean, come on. Paired with some of these other tips, this could really help you pass. Now, obviously you don't have to be emo to pass, but I tend to notice that the emo, sorry for misgendering you guys, but emo guys are typically seen as more feminine. So if you want to be seen as more feminine and you're a trans girl who is not out, maybe emo is the way to go. Now on the trans masculine side of things, short haircuts are obviously good. So something like this might work because it's very androgynous. And this one, and lucky for trans men, um, like shorter, more masculine hairstyles are becoming more common for girls. So like, maybe your parents won't question you as much. I realize you're not a girl, I know, I hear you. But if you're not out, maybe that'll help. Third is hand gestures and other body language. So women tend to talk with their hands more. And the way that I tend to think of their movement in general is like a river. Damn, I can't draw water. Huh. And just generally anything that you think makes you look really flowy, it's probably gonna make you look more feminine. And women also tend to like say mm-hmm and yeah to make to like let the other person know that they understand conversations. Whereas men will typically talk less with their hands and um, will typically nod or like, I don't know. Yeah, they'll just nod if to, to make sure that the other person knows that they're listening. And the way I tend to think of men's movement is like a rock. I know it's kind of boring, but honestly, it, it, if you think about it, it makes sense. So really anything that makes you look like sturdier or like more rigid and less flowy will generally make you look more masculine. The fourth thing is clothes. So some things I found that help trans women pass when they're not quite out are or things like knitted shirts, tank tops, even men's ones, they just make everyone look femme, honestly. Shirts with pink or partially pink graphics, or just pink shirts, obviously, but if you can't ask for those, I understand. Coats with belts, and now tighten these belts so that your hips look bigger, because honestly, look at him, doesn't he look androgynous? Denim jackets. And v-necks. Also, really anything black, because black tends to hide, like, the fact that you maybe have small hips or small chest area. <laughs> so, yeah. And for trans men, some good options are graphic t-shirts, especially superhero ones, if you're into that. 
or really just like anything you like pretty much because there's graphic t-shirts of everything and they really hide chest if you can't yeah, if you don't have access to a binder basically anything in neutral colors especially in winter because bright colors tend to make you look more feminine i don't know why this is but really it just i, I don't know if you can't have access to a binder get a sports bra I know it can be kind of dysphoric, but honestly, it can help flatten your chest just a little bit. Also, unripped jeans, especially with the graphic t-shirts, tend to go for a very, like, androgynous look. Loose pants, as well as striped shirts. Also, I found that combat boots are really nice for making your feet look more masculine, even if they are women's. And pretty much anything with, like, a high neckline, because collarbones are really femme. And the opposite for trans women, so if you're looking to, like, be more feminine, avoid anything with a high neckline and go for the lower bones. And the fifth tip is just other random things that I found. For trans women, black nail polish, guys, seriously, I'm telling you the emo thing will work, but even if you're not emo, I feel like it's coming, it's coming to be in fashion for, like, preppy people too, so. But your parents might remember the emo days so they might just think you're going through an emo phase instead of questioning why the heck is my kid who they assume is a boy is wearing nail polish they'll just feel like oh she's emo or they're emo because i don't want to say the other now because i know you're not a boy so yeah on the subject of nails trans guys will want to keep theirs relatively short because you know that can kind of help passing and this is for both trans men and trans women and that's for you to just wear a lot of jackets because honestly if you have chest dysphoria it makes it really hard for really anyone to tell whether or not you have stuff there because i don't want to be triggering so i'm just gonna say stuff so yeah just wear a jacket over whatever clothing you have also hoodies like especially hoodies guys because again it conceals whatever's under there some absolute don'ts Binding with ace bandages. Look, I get it. You want a flat chest, but you can't get a binder. I'm a trans guy, so I, I, I understand that. But honestly, it's not worth the risk because actually, I mean, some trans guys know this, but if you don't, ace bandages or just binding for too long or with stuff like ace bandages can actually make it to where you can't get top surgery which is something that I wouldn't want for anyone, for any trans guy or a AFAB person who doesn't like their chest. So just don't do it. Also for trans women, please don't talk for more than 12 hours. Seriously, it can make it to where you can't pee. It can make it to where you can't get bottom surgery if you're ever thinking about that in the future. It just causes a lot of damage sometimes and it's just, please, please don't, please be safe. And on the topic of safety, if anyone out there is feeling, you know, down in the dumps, is having trouble with like self-harm, addiction, suicidal thoughts, anything like that, I'm always here. Literally shoot me an email. I have like, a, well, I don't really have any fans so far, but you know, I have an email. I'll link it in the description. So if you ever need any help with anything like that, I'm here for you. And I won't call the cops on you or anything, or I, I just... I really just want to help. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like button. It really, really helps me. Um, and I hope you guys are having a good day. If you guys are watching this during the COVID-19 quarantine, huh, rhyming, um, I hope this provided some temporary relief from boredom. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.